Already off to a solid start, folks. And we decided to start with the river trail. But boat life is also very, very interesting. It's never, never, never a dull moment. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. I feel like we are finally here on the loop. It sounds weird because we've already traveled a few thousand miles, but we have no schedule. We just need to make it to Chicago by the end of the season. So we are spending as much time as possible just enjoying every day. For today, that means going ashore and hiking at Mill Norrie State Park here off the Hudson before we continue cruising this afternoon. You can just tell everywhere on the Hudson the current is so strong. And that is why we're timing the tides everywhere we go. So we still are planning on cruising today, but the tide doesn't switch till 3 p.m. We have all morning to explore. There are not a lot of great protected shallow anchorages on the Hudson River, and we're experiencing that firsthand. So we have had a very rough few days on anchor. It's been very windy. There's been a lot of wind versus current, which makes it a bit more rough and rocky rolly on anchor. So we are so grateful for this like, like glass weather that we are having. It is just beautiful. Already up to a solid start, folks. <laughs> uh. Hey, I think we're at the right spot. Looking back at the map, we might have just been able to go to the marina and drop tap the dinghy. Um, so if you come here, I'd check that out first because it was really shallow. But you know, we're tied off, and you know, we'll see how it goes. We're back in the land of chirping birds. We wake up and we hear the sound of the birds. It's very nice. It's one of our favorite things about waking up on the water. It's pretty much low tide and you can tell these, uh, the vegetation here in this little cove is like completely on land. It's all mud. Uh, the tide here is about three feet. And we decided to start with the river trail which is two and a half miles, should parallel the Hudson, and then we'll come back inland. Um, and it's already kind of, I mean, it's very rugged. It's, it's beautiful.
Today's weather is just gorgeous. It is about, I think, low of 40 today, high of 80, and we are hiking in the shade for about 80% of it. So it means that we're kept nice and cool. Well, we just finished up the river trail, and this is also a New York State birding trail. And just at the end of the trailhead, we have, I guess it's bird chatter. It could be bugs, but it kind of sounds like birds. And we're gonna take uh, a route inland on the way back along the Blue Trail. But it was, it was gorgeous. Beautiful day for hiking. There's some great signage that explains the Native American background and history in, the, in this area. It paints a picture of when the first settlers were coming up the Hudson River, you know, what the Native Americans looking out might have felt or seen or just kind of, it's interesting, it's kind of cool. Ollie has been going nuts from the deer. Kind of crazy. A lot of wildlife on this trail. We just wrapped up the blue. We made sure to check the uh, the map as soon as we got here because the blue keeps going. And there's many miles of trails here. Um, but we are heading going to come back here and then take the road back to Pivot, which is not that much further. But overall, it's been a really nice spot and really nice hiking. I would totally recommend it if you have good weather. Or there's marinas you can go to too, but anchoring you know, we want it, want it to be like a day like today. Five knots of wind. Oh, nice. These are the railroad tracks. We see Pivot. We see Fred. But Fred is beached. <laughs> And the rope, or the line that is holding Fred to the walkway is a little taunt. <laughs> uh, Elliot wore his water shoes. I did not, so I'll be taking off my shoes. <laughs> and... Another day on the loop. <laughs> yeah, it is, you know. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's do this. You know, boat life is is challenging, but boat life is also very, very interesting. It's never, never, never a dull moment. <laughs> never, never a dull moment. Be careful because it might be slippery. Yeah. All right, come on, Ollie. Where'd Ollie go? <laughs> She's up there. Come down here. Yeah, I don't think we need the line on anymore. Oh, oh right to the face. All right. She's drinking it now. Ollie, quit drinking the water. Ollie, come on, jump in the boat. Ollie, quit Ollie, drinking quit the water. Quit drinking the water. Don't eat the plants <laughs> either. <laughs> let's go in the boat. Come on, let's go. Bring the boat closer. I want to see her swim. She won't swim in this. <laughs> okay. Are I you... deserve that one. Yeah, you do. Goodbye, Mill Nori State Park. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. Okay. Is that deep enough now? Put the engine down. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Pivot. Happy to see you. Eastern shoreline right right over here is where we hiked earlier today and it was an excellent hike it was about two miles one way um, about I think five miles total so the inside went a little bit more windy but it was a great hike we had beautiful views of the Hudson it was nice and shaded I mean we had it was just it was excellent we, it was a really beautiful hike after we got back to pivot Jen made some fried rice which was just delectable Whenever we have any leftover rice, it's kind of like our go-to because Jen just throws a whole bunch of different vegetables in it and it's just so delicious. I'm so full right now. And then we worked for the last, what, two hours, right? Yeah, I think we worked for the last two hours. So now we got the tide switching, pivot turned around in the anchorage, and uh, we have the tide flowing with us all the way to Kingston. And just like that, we are all ready to Kingston. It was only seven nautical miles today, which is nothing, especially when you have the current giving you an extra knot. And the goal today is to dock and uh, with the Hudson Current, so that would be the first time. Because technically Liberty Landing was around slack tide when we got fuel the other day, but um, it could be a challenge. We're trying to go to the restaurant called Old Savannah and supposedly if we dock there and eat they'll let us stay overnight so crossing our fingers on that one that there's room that they will let us stay overnight should be fine but we'll find out jen is preparing the lines right now so basically the goal is to come into tingston and turn around so we're going into the current we're on a rising tide so you want to point the boat into the current when you're docking
talking was great. A success! And our friends who we met in what, the Chesapeake City a few states ago are here. Crustacean, Bill and Margie. And if you remember, they did the crossing to from like the whole Atlantic side of New Jersey. They crossed with us. And uh, we, caught it, we caught their lines. So we're gonna all have dinner together. <sighs> <laughs> I took a shower, as you can probably tell, um, which felt amazing. I only shower on days that we cruise because it means that we have hot water. Right. But we just had uh, another looper stop by our boat from Halfling, Julie, and so and invite us to some dock tail. So I think this might be our first dock tails. Yeah, I think it is actually. So we're, gonna... we're not on that many docks. No. no actually, we had dock tails at the rendezvous. Yeah, and we've had times. like. Uh, cocktails on other boats and stuff like that but yeah um, anyway so we're gonna go enjoy that now yeah <laughs> then it was pretty good after our dock tails where there was I think five other looper boats, which was pretty cool. And a, a looper boat came in to the marina, so they had like 10 people ready to catch lines, which was great for them. Um, we went to Old Savannah for dinner for our dockage for the evening, and it was pretty good. I got a kale and Brussels sprout salad. Jim got some clams and linguine. And then we had dinner with Bill and Margie. They got some brisket and some nachos. Both looked pretty good. Now we're gonna take Ollie out for a walk. Well, it's still twilight. Thank you guys for watching our day on the loop here and uh, in the Hudson River. We tomorrow we have some fun plans, but they were they involved waking up early and hitting the tide. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. What the heck? Look at that! Can you get it off? What the heck? been a lot of current um tide no wind there's been a lot of current oh yeah the go bye